Welcome to Meals in Moments, when a famous face comes around and cooks me their favourite recipe. And I'll give you some great menu ideas for dishes that you can cook in no time at all. Across the series, we'll be getting some great ideas from some well-known faces for simple and delicious meals that can be cooked up in minutes. My guest today started her career as a travel journalist. Then she became part of the GMTV team and is currently one of the presenters of the cheeky daytime chat show, Loose Women. It's Andrea McLean. Are you a good cook? No, I'm, I'm spectacularly poor, but enthusiastic. And I think that's what counts at the end of the day. I do try. The end results are not amazing. So we could well be going for a takeout, <laughs> but I will try. So who cooks at home? My husband does most of the cooking. He's a, he's a carpenter by trade, so his argument is he's good with his hands. But I'm in Andrea's, as she's going to cook me her quick and easy chilled tomato soup with an orange and olive salad. What do we need first of all? Um, well, I suppose we should make the orange salad first, mainly because it's got the red onion in it. Um, the, the taste can be a little bit strong, especially for a, a girl like me. I, I don't really like a lot of onion in something because it's a bit stinky. Good choice of a recipe, yes. then. Do you know, I'll give you the onion because okay. it stinks. And, and what... <laughs> Well, and how, do you, how do you want it? How much of it do you want? How really, do you want it? I would probably only put a quarter and really finely chopped. Can you do that really quick thing? Don't teach well, me. All do you it. do is you kind of go down. That's not that fast. Like I like that. it when you go to the So you can see. Okay. And then go across like that. And the more of these you do, then obviously the finer ah. it is. And then all you do is you go across. Look at that. Like that. Okay. Now you started off as a, as a travel journo. Yeah. So where is the best place ever that you've been? Um, I've eaten by the side of the road in India. You know, the whole thing with, with your fingers. Yeah. I've, uh, I've travelled by a local bus in Indonesia and ended up in the back of beyond praying that this is where <laughs> I'm supposed to be. I had some amazing food there. But I think my favourite is Thailand. Yeah. I really love the Thai food. It's very fresh and quick. Well, your background's quite exotic, though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, um, people often think that I'm American or Canadian or from Cornwall. Hmm. Um, and I'm not. I'm Scottish and I was raised in the Caribbean. So that's where my so funny accent down. comes from. Did your parents move out there for work? Or? Yeah, my dad works for a sugar company. Right. And so I was raised actually on a, a sugar plantation out in Trinidad, wow. uh, which, is, which was as lovely as it sounds. Good food? Oh, amazing food. And to be honest, I've never been back to Trinidad, but the thing I love most is, you know, if you're driving through and you pass a, a Caribbean shop, I kind of go, <coughs> roti. And yeah. I, I like, I know it sounds crazy, but I like a bit of goat roti. Uh-huh. It's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. For the sweet and zesty orange and olive salad, Andrea just chops the orange and puts the pieces into the bowl with the diced red onion. Then she seasons the ingredients with a little salt and pepper and mixes in pitted black olives. It's really that easy. Next, the chilled tomato soup. So, so, what, so what do we do? Just, what do we need to chop uh, you them, need, chop you need a blender. Blender we have. Just really roughly chop them up and bung them in, and that's it. Now, you're going to do this in a fancy well, way. Well, all I'm going to do is cut them in half and, and do that. You know, so you sort of cut you just cut a little V. Right, I'll do that for the next one. Because then you get more tomato. Now, mm. Loose Women. Yes. A, a phenomenally frightening show. <laughs> yes. I suppose every bloke's... Most fearful nightmare yes. is to be completely and utterly destroyed yes. by a team of strong-minded, <laughs> intelligent females. Oh, you're very kind. And, that, and that's fundamentally the premise of the show. Yes. You could really tell a man's character by how he walked on set and sat down. And the kind of man who... Like, I imagine you'd be fine. Uh -huh. You'd be absolutely fine. Come in, sit down, have a cheery chat. Yeah. Um, it's your blokey bloke who comes in and thinks he's, you know, come on, I've got something to prove here. They would come in, wave to the audience, sit down, and then, I don't know if I can do this on your show, they would hold themselves. <laughs> you know, like little boys in the playground who get a bit nervous? They would all sit like that, shaking and really scared. OK, so stage two, then, yeah. is what? We puree things. Just bung it all in. All right, well, let's I don't know if there's a technical term for bunging it all no, in. No, I think that is the technical Great. term. Great, OK. So the tongs go in, and then the bread... That is all lovely and squishy. So that's what we want. Yeah. We should I start picking bits out yes. of the middle of it? This is, do you know, that's this my is that favourite bit of the bread. Yeah. My kids do this. You, you buy bread going around the supermarket and they just dig the middle out. Yeah. How much vinegar? Uh, do you know, last time I, I made this, I put too much in and it looked the same. By gum, the taste. You could have stripped <laughs> paint with it. <laughs> it really wasn't that great. Impression. So be a bit okay, well, easy done, on the I've vinegar. A little bit. Yeah. 
A bit of salt. Pepper? I, always, I think. I'll give it a wee bit of flavour. OK. It's going the right colour. OK. So that's, that's stage one. So now, get the rest of the toms in. So talk to me about motor racing. I had a Formula 4 racing licence. How? Well, I was sent away to just do a story on it. Basically, I spent every day in the, in the classroom with everyone else, learning the theory behind it all. And then in the afternoons, you'd be out on the racetrack on your own in your little Formula 4 car, um, trying to put it into, into practice. And basically, you had to qualify to qualify. And I did. OK, so here we go. Okay. Stage two. So would you describe yourself as a bit of an adrenaline junkie, then? Um, in a controlled way, yes. Um, I've bungee jumped, I've done three parachute jumps, I've rap jumped. Do you know what that is? No. I rap jumped off Table Mountain in South Africa, and basically that's where you abseil face first. So how does that work? Talk me, talk me to it. So, it works so really if, badly. If, if, I'm, if I'm Table Mountain, yeah. right, so you're facing that way. This is going to look a bit odd, but basically you're like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Yeah. You like that? You like that? Yeah. So. Crying, <laughs> tears falling down Table Mountain. Okay, well let's let's uh, let's get it served up. The great thing about this salad is that it's messy. Okay. You're not going to try and make it look pretty or anything else. Just slop mm. it down. I would even put it in a little side dish if if you wanted to. It's lovely. I mean, if you were going to be fancy, you could cut as well as do the segments. You could cut it across in rings. So you have perfect rounds and lay it out. You know, and just to garnish with some basil. There. I'm going to do, because I'm a girl, into a little boop there. It's Lovely. Not, basically, that's just an orange and olive salad, and that is cold tomato soup. Lovely. So, to make Andrea's fresh and tasty chilled tomato soup with orange and olive salad, all you have to do is, for the salad, finely dice a red onion and put it into a bowl. Chop a couple of oranges and add the pieces to the chopped red onion. Season with a little sea salt and black pepper and mix in some pitted black olives. For the soup, roughly chop some tomatoes and put them in a blender. Add some torn bread for body and texture. Add a glug of white wine vinegar for sharpness. Season and blend. Then pour into a bowl, garnish with fresh basil and serve. Do we start with the soup or do we start with the salad? Do you know, the nice thing about this is there's no rules and I see this as, you know, everybody sitting around the table all chatting, you can have a bit of that, a bit of that. Do you know what I mean? It's not okay. like one's a starter, one's a main, it's just everybody mucking together. How is it? It's good, actually. Thanks. No, I'm so surprised. No, 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 I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not surprised that it's good, I'm surprised that it's so tasty. There's actually a, a lot of taste going on for, for such little effort, which I really like. It's quite sophisticated. Do you think? Well, you know, it's a taste. Mm -hmm. it, it tastes like there's far more effort and work into it. I think you're selling yourself short. I think that you, you've made things taste delicious. And I reckon with, with more practice, then yeah. I think you'd really get into your cooking. You know, you, you sound like my school report. Yeah, I could do better. <laughs> and exactly. with a bit of practice, you'd be all right. Exactly. <laughs> but it's been brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, you're really great. welcome. That's a fizzy. Some of this. Mm. Swim. Mm -hmm. Walk along the prom. Yaskin. Yeah.